Hey guys, Greg and Stacy here with Keizu Keto, bringing you another Carboholicas Keto. We're a little bit late on this one. We kind of accidentally skipped the in-between one, and we're still like what four or five days late on doing the monthly one. Yeah. We don't really have a good excuse. I work like I'm working like. 55 hours a week. We had extra time off over Thanksgiving that we kind you of enjoyed. You had extra time off. You had time off I worked too. on Thursday and Friday. I suppose that's true. Stacy has been working a ridiculously number of hours, which goes right into the bank account, which is awesome. But we just haven't been able to sync up on doing the videos and stuff. We still have like four or five videos we want to shoot, but we just, mm -hmm. it's about a hard, hard time. Fun. Maybe during Christmas, I don't know. Yeah, maybe when things settle down at work yeah. for me. Good news, but, though. I, I was going to say, this is like a landmark episode because this is 100 weeks. 100 weeks. 100 weeks well, on keto for me. Which is almost two years. Because technically 104 weeks would be two years. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. Yep. So, like... But it's 100 weeks. Yep. So, January 1st, 2019. <laughs> Simon. This is a... He's had a rough week too last week because he got neutered. Yeah. But anyway, let's jump into our numbers and then we can tell you about our life and all the crazy things that are going on with it. Oh, so also it's 705 days. 705 days. As of today. It's pretty good. Um, I'm actually like you are nine days away from two years on two keto. Years, yeah. So when Stacy's of course just about you know, 15 days or so beyond that. But cool. Do you want to go first? Sure. Okay. So I started January 1st, 2019. Starting weight was 293 pounds and something's been working for me lately. Um, less stress, I think. Not holding on or cortisol, not holding on to the fat. I think the bad fat. Bodies I don't know. decided stress anyway. is the new normal and therefore <laughs> we don't need all this extra stuff. <laughs> uh, back down to my lowest. I'm back into Wonderland, 198 gives me 95 pounds lost blood pressure was 107 over 57 glucose was 94 and ketones are still in the really low 0.2 0.2 it is what it is it's reading it's not low it's good that's true. which is probably why it took so long mm -hmm. to get to that but uh, your, your diet's been pretty consistent I have I've been eating basically the same thing other than dinners lately for the last month yep so, I mean, do the same thing, don't expect to change. I mean, you're, you're comfortable with your weight. Mm -hmm. And the fact that you're back under 200 means you can wear that shirt you made back <laughs> this episode. It was exactly eight months ago. Eight months the ago. last time I was under 200 pounds. Nice. Nice. Uh, my journey has uh, started, like I said, 15 days earlier than Stacy's. I started on December 15th of 2018. Uh, and I weighed in at, I think, 371. Yep, mm -hmm. 371. Um, and today my weight was 209, so that's 162 pounds, if Stacy's math can be correct. I think so. That looks right. Yeah, 209 plus 167 equals 371. Boink. Um, glucose today, this morning, was 95. <laughs> ketones, 0.4. And um, that's pretty standard, unless I'm losing weight. So, so 209 is my... New official low. I think I got to 208 at some point during this process, but whatever. 209 this morning. Uh, blood pressure was a little elevated. I did have a headache. I woke up with a headache this morning. I think it was tension in my neck. And anyway, it went away after the shower stuff, but I still had a headache for, I don't know, like a couple hours. So my blood pressure was a little bit more elevated than normal. Normally I'm like 110. It was like 122 or 69, which is still great. I'm not complaining. Um, mm -hmm. Still good. As Stacy and I mentioned, we've got off some medications over the years, now almost years, um, that let us kind of get off all our medications. Pretty quickly after starting, too, if I remember correctly. Mine was April. Yeah. And I even got off my sleep apnea device, too, because mine was generated because of that the That was a little longer, chest. I think. Yeah, that was like June. Yeah. July. Ringing the bell again. We should record how many times he rings the bell during this video. Uh, Did you want to go outside and go potty? Okay, go right outside and go potty. No, no, you don't get to ring the bell and not go outside. Come on. <laughs> nope. It's not a toy. This is a tool. You're losing your tool. Either go outside or lose the tool. Yep, I'm ra rationalizing with a puppy. <clears throat> Are you gonna go out? Yeah, I didn't think so. 
It makes noise. Yeah. Just like his other toys. It, it activates the human component and something happens. I hit this button and something happens. <sighs> Imagine if he had one of those like treat dispensers. No. No, I, would, I can't imagine that because that won't happen. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so yeah, so I think that's my numbers. So mm -hmm. collectively, Stacy and I have lost 257 pounds and we did our, did our measurements uh, as of the first of the month. So that well, was like, the end of the month. Right, right. Because we do it on the end of the month. So we did them at the end of The 29th November. of November. Today's the 6th. Tell <laughs> how many days it takes for Stacy to get this released um, of December. So at the time we did our, so our weights are as of today. Our inches are as of December 1st, All, all numbers are as of today, except the inches which they're from last weekend which are still good mm -hmm. which well, yeah i mean yeah like i actually lost like another almost two inches off the, the body and i lost four and you lost four in since I, the end of october and only one of those is from the bust <laughs> actually i don't think that changed no okay well. um so mine is 55.5 inches lost since february of 2019 because we didn't start measuring inches until right. february yep and, and mine was 66.7 since that time and that gives us a total of 122.2 so i got mostly sixes you got mostly fives and then we ended up with together being mostly twos he's evil I'm just a, a little extra I'm evil point he's one above point seven. Seven. yeah <laughs> point one above <laughs> so anyway that's been our journey let's talk about how our weeks have been going so we've been staying keto uh things have been going fairly well in relation to our diets Tried a few new recipes. Mm -hmm. um, Tried quite a few new recipes, actually. Stacy made a big long list of Mostly things to try. Mostly from website, Low Carb Yum. But she's a, a fantastic planner, so half the time we get to a recipe, we're like, yeah, we're gonna have that tonight. Realize there's something else we have to make to have it. So then that gets kind of crossed off. Or the meat needs to be defrosted. Yeah. Or we need to have it, meat, or whatever else might be required. Yeah. So, overall, uh, my daughter turned a year older. Yikes. Um, and, uh, <laughs> makes me feel super old having a 26 year old daughter, but Bell's not there. So now it's playing with a dog dish. Hey, it's still empty and you got crap in your face. You should really clean it up. <clears throat> Just walk away, man. Just walk away. Give it a go. Yeah. The corner is usually where the food is. Um, so anyway, yeah, we've been busy. We kept low key, follow all the recommended guidelines and restrictions that are in place here in Michigan for us. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, just had our turkey dinner on Thanksgiving. Here's a picture of us and the kids that live here. And uh, we, we had some turkey and we, I made mashed potatoes for the kids. Mm -hmm. Cause that's my funny and story. Morgan had to have cranberry sauce. And Morgan had to have a can of cranberry sauce, which she refrigerated and then took it out and couldn't get it out of the thing. So, yeah, whatever. But, so, yeah, so. Sorry, you had a funny story. We had, I interrupted you. Yes. I was just saying that Morgan wanted cranberry sauce and then she had a can of cranberry sauce and then she put it in the refrigerator because she wanted it cold and then took it out three she hours. She cold because she wanted the ridges. Right. And then she took it out three hours ahead of time so it wasn't cold anymore. I said, I'm sure glad you, I'm so, so happy you refrigerated that to not have it being refrigerated. But anyway, so kids wanted mashed potatoes. My, my sons both, um, right before we started keto, started loving potatoes. My son would, Mason would eat them like an apple. And uh, that's, yeah. So we had, we had, so they bought some potatoes. Adam's working, so he sometimes will stop by the grocery store and pick up some stuff. So sometimes he picks up potatoes. I showed him how to make the baked potato in the microwave, all that jazz. So we now have potatoes on hand. And surprisingly, not really, like, wasn't affected by having mashed potatoes. Like, yeah, it's fine. I don't care. Uh, we had, what do we had? Turkey, we deviled had eggs, mm -hmm. and we made green, green bean casserole. Green bean casserole from the video series that we had last Thanksgiving. Yep. So we can link that up here if you're interested in that recipe because it's pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Um, and then we also made the Keto Cheddar Bay Biscuits. Yes. Yes. So I had turkey, green bean casserole, and biscuits. That was pretty much it. And cheese. Oh, yeah. I did have some cheese in the bag, too. 
We always have cheese. Yes. Yes. So, so that was a good Thanksgiving. Missed the family, of course. Um, and they missed us too. So, uh, because of that, I decided that I was going to pick my... Because usually it's my, my, my family. We have th three Thanksgivings. We have my family, we have her family, and then we have our Friendsgiving that we usually have. So we canceled all those, just had the one at home. Um, which is kind of depressing, I guess, to some extent. But... Daisy's like, I really like it. It was so much low-key and relaxing. And since our friends and family don't watch this anymore, we're just going to share this information with you guys. <laughs> so, it was nice because so, I didn't have to like so, worry about people coming over. I didn't yeah. have to worry about going anywhere. Which is be pretty much holiday. every other day that we live. I know, but so it was like, like yeah. extra time off of work that wasn't really time off of work, but it could have been if I wanted it to be, sure. really. Sure. <laughs> yeah. There was but a anyway. nice relaxed atmosphere about it, and I liked it. Yeah, yeah. Hope you guys had a good Thanksgiving, too. Let us know if you, you found any good recipes from Thanksgiving that you wanted to share that we should try. we got Christmas coming up. I guess that's mm -hmm. the next holiday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we suspect that it's going to be pretty much the same. Um, although we are looking at some cool, fun ideas to do, like, remote gift-sharing type stuff, where they're, like, sending things to somebody else or, I don't know trying to figure out an idea if you guys have any good ideas good recipes we should try or good ideas to try for like remote remote games or something like that we usually play like a white elephant game so or we can't, three yeah <laughs> but we can't really do that this year so i mean we i guess we could but it it'd be hard to do, keep keep the social distancing in place yeah. uh, and be outside um so yeah but maybe we could just send our own gift and they could, I don't know. Let us know. Let us know if you guys have any thoughts on that. But we just like to Zoom call, FaceTime calls, stuff like that, um, for the family. And then uh, I actually made uh, some lasagna. I made a keto version for us and made one for my family and had them drop off because usually after we get together, we have like three turkeys and we have leftovers for everybody. But um, uh, yeah, not this time. So I figured, hey, they'll probably be one, maybe a little extra leftovers so i made uh three pans of lasagna one for the kids one for us and then one for my uh my family uh my grandma my mom and my dad my grandpa so so that's pretty much and then we delivered it just you know here you go we're out <laughs> type of deal so that's pretty much our thanksgiving and probably going to be very similar to what our christmas turns out to be this year mm -hmm. too so Miss them, but want to keep them around, so we'll keep our distance and do what everybody, all the extra styles to do. But, yeah, boring. Stacy works too much. I golf too much. I've been golfing in the December or something. That was something I've never done. It's so cool, because uh, the weather was decent. So, but anyway, that's it for us, guys. Sorry it took so long for guys to get this out. Um, for all you loyal fans, we definitely greatly appreciate your support, loving wishes, and the slap in the face to let us know that you're missing us. We appreciate it. And hopefully more. Like, got hopefully. some cookie stuff. We got some other recipes yeah. that... I, the, the cookie recipe that we keep talking about, I swear there is one. It truly is. Although <laughs> you haven't made it in a long time. I really haven't. I'm losing the tasting of it. <laughs> I don't even know where it was. All I remember is the pecans. But, yeah. Yeah, so... And ironically, my youngest son is now doing media production stuff too, so he could be helping operate the camera. And I don't get any ideas. There it is in the corner. So we're hoping he's going to edit this video and make it make it good. I already have a public service announcement for my other project I need to work on. Now. School stuff. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't been a subscriber, please. Click the subscribe button. We promise we are putting out putting out content, and it will be more exciting than this. Most we of have it. a lot more backlog videos. That, yes. Wait, is that backlog? If they're already no, it's out. not backlog. No. Okay, it's... we have a lot of other videos already out. Recipe videos, recipe videos that aren't our recipes. <laughs> Both recipe videos that are ours, that are that are. We're not going to let Stacey Words talk apart. anymore. We're going to let Stacey talk. Yep. But anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure you uh, like the video if you like it. 
or a thumbs up or whatever be fantastic and uh as always stay keto and we'll see you guys in the next video whenever we get to it Only because you got the bitchiest cat on the planet. Go potty! <laughs> what? <laughs> Woody was like, fuck that, I don't want to go out. Nah, it ain't cold, it's cold. It's like 20 degrees out there. It's 30. Nah. <sighs> Simon, trying to get back in the house. All right, so now, let's start this thing. Oh, it is it recording? Is it mic on? Yeah, oh. it's mic's on, everything's ready to go. Oh, okay. It's been since I- Making sure. Some dumbass ring the bell. Worst idea ever, guys. Don't let your dogs ring the bell. Like, sounds great, but like when he gets bored, he just rings it. And somebody's gotta get up and let him out. Otherwise it doesn't work, right? And then he wants to come immediately right back in. Right. Doesn't go to the bathroom. Just wants bored. Wants to change a base. Goes outside. Yep, it's cold. Check the weather. Come back in. He's like a 90-year-old guy. <laughs> yep, it's cold. Uh. Anyway. <laughs> and then we have the wonderful tolerance of the kitty. It's the puppy life for us, guys. <laughs> I'm freaking slap happy today, yeah. and I don't know why. Almost peed your pants from the dog getting into the mail. <laughs> okay, so. <clears throat> hey guys, Greg and Stacy here with Keizu Kiyomi. That's a going in the blooper reel. <laughs> you guys are about all get, get set out. I don't know how you managed to push that chair. I can't even move the chair half the time with the cat on there. <laughs> Thank you.